back and forth. And, woo! It broke! I can make a chicken nugget in here, but I can't even make a, a kernel pot. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> Friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be trying TikTok hacks to see if they actually work. This is something I've always wanted to try, but have always been too scared. You take a bag of Doritos, put it in the microwave, bag looks like it's getting rotisseried by actual lightning, shrivels up, and then shrinks. I wasn't trying to burn my house down for a DIY. Not today. Actually, today. All right, I'm actually very tempted to put this whole thing in the microwave with the chips in it, but I don't think that's a good idea. Is, it, is that not a good idea? I don't idea? think that's a good that's idea. A, that's a bad idea. Also, I'm hungry and I want a snack. Nobody trying to waste Doritos, okay? It's just little chip. I want to eat it. Mm. Mm. It's crackhead hours right now and I'm hungry. Okay, goodbye, sweet prince. Alright, so I thought this takes a long time, but actually it happened in like five seconds. Here it goes. <laughs> I hate it! I hate it! You didn't even get it! I did get it! Oh, you backed away! Yeah, I did. Here it goes. <laughs> nope! <laughs> I hate it! I hate it! Oh my god! Quick. Ooh, okay. It didn't shrink as much as I'd like. Oh, can I put it in for like two seconds more? Does that work or is it is it done? It won't do it anymore. It doesn't go smaller. It smells nasty in here. Okay, it's shrinking more. It's shrinky dinks even more. Not that much. It's supposed to be smaller. It's too big. I don't like it. Wow, very cool. Oh, you can still see all the... Oh, I love it. It's like a tiny little Dorito. <laughs> Why are you so bumpy? What if you did it with the chips? Would the chips shrink up? Would they become nachos with the cheese melt? Hmm. I didn't want to believe this one because every video I watched seemed fake. And y'all know what happened last time I tried to do a corn hack and make popcorn. Big moment in history. Man, I didn't even hear a single pop. It's steaming though. It smells like corn. So you take a flat iron, put a kernel in it. We ain't talking about KFC. And then it's supposed to just magically spawn into a popcorn. I mean, that's how you get popcorn in the first place. Kernel plus heat equals popcorn. We love a delicious hack. We gonna turn this bad boy on max heat. And then we're gonna put a popcorn kernel in this. How do we do this without burning myself? Okay, 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 here we go. I'm scared. How long do we have to hold this? How long before I have popcorn? Fresh, organic, non-GMO. What kind of hack is this? You're not gonna make a pack of popcorn like this. Okay, well, all the ones that I saw, it seemed fake. I mean, can't I just put this in the microwave? Call it a day. Y'all saw how my other popcorn hack went. Hello, popcorn today, please. Imagine how long it popcorn, takes to do a, a bowl. <laughs> Popcorn, please. It's gonna ruin my flat iron. I've had the same one for like six years. I'm gonna hold this for like 20 more seconds. Hopefully something happens. Well, this max heat, this 450 degrees, how hot you want it to be. I can make a chicken nugget in here, but I can't even make a, a kernel pot. Mmm, I wish you guys could smell this. Wow, it's like a surprise pregnancy. The baby just pops out. <laughs> it's like I was pregnant all along. There is no what if, I am pregnant. And it's popcorn. All these years, Starbucks has been doing nothing but scamming us. You know how they got a small, medium, large. Sorry, tall, grande, venti. You got a tall cup of coffee. This whole time, you could have just been ordering a small, but with no ice, and pouring it into a venti cup of ice. Basically get a large drink for the price of a small. You're telling me, y'all can take this pinkity drinkity and shove it up your ventity. That's actually what we're doing today. Look like she took the small drink, asked for a venti cup of ice, Poured it in. It's like they wanted you to know this hack. Stop paying for ventis. Okay, so I went to Starbucks. I got a tall tea. I felt so dirty ordering a venti ice right after because I felt like she knew exactly what I was gonna do. Look, I ordered the tea with no ice and she didn't even fill it up the entire way. See, I thought I was getting like the whole thing, but no, she like left a good half an inch. Okay, so we're gonna take this and see if it actually works. I expect it to fill up. Ooh, ooh, 
It's like it was meant to be a venti. A tall was meant to be a venti. And I like my drinks with extra ice, so this is perfect. This, however. So every drink is actually a tall. They just charge you more for the bigger sizes than that ice. Yeah, they charge you for a bigger cup and more ice. See, this is like $4 and this is like $6.50. Disgusting. I'm appalled. Will I still continue to order ventis? Probably. No, I'm gonna do this. No shame. I got my ventis. A little icy. Delicious. I want some. Mm. <gasps> you asked for it. If someone ever decides to steal you and you find yourself with a zip tie around your wrists and no way to escape, but you just so happen to have some sneakers on. Oh, laces, they gotta have shoelaces. You could shimmy the zip tie with your shoelace until it breaks. Okay, we love a survival hack, but does it work though? Ugh. Okay, these are actually really tight. We have some zip ties. I had to combine several of them and oh man I went snowboarding and I'm really sore. I can barely put my leg up So we're gonna take our shoelace. If I remember correctly, we're gonna tie the shoe. Oh my god I can't even like maneuver this. Yeah, this is hard I probably have a better chance of like just like mm. busting it open with pure strength. Oh my god I can't get this <laughs> Okay one shoelace, two shoelace. We're gonna tie the shoelaces together. If only I had a looser grip. <laughs> this would have been a lot easier. Mother trucker. Oh my God, this is annoying. Make sure if you get captured to wear very long shoelaces. These short boys, they just don't cut it. All I gotta do is make a double knot and then the rest is easy peasy, okay. Oh, we did it. Okay, we made a double knot. So now, ow, my finger. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna put my sleeve because this is like rug burning my wrist. And then back and forth. And oh! It broke! Oh my god, that was so easy. Back and forth. Oh! It actually just like broke this apart with just like the shimmying of the ankle. Nice. And now you're free to go. Oh, that hurt. Make sure you untie your shoe before you get up. We just got home from work. Look at all these crusty, dusty, musty bills. Oh, was that a 50? Oh, another 50. We did good tonight. You know, you can make a lot of money looking under the machines at arcades. All right, but ain't nobody want to walk into a 7-Eleven buy some Doritos with this. So we're going to take our flat iron and then just like make that money into new. Boy. Straight out of an ATM because that's definitely where I get my money from. Look at all the germs it's killing too. Oh, it's so clean you could look it. Ooh. Okay, I ain't that nasty. Wow, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Straight out of the ATM. Hey, stinky butt. You're stinky. Do you still use headphones with wires? Peasant check. I gave three people AirPods for Christmas. I still don't have a pair. This is supposed to be a super easy way to untangle your headphones. So you just take the little plastic bit and just shake it up. All that childhood trauma should untangle them. No way it can be that easy. I'm, I'm not buying it. What you should buy is some AirPods though. I'm gonna show you how to untangle these headphones. Follow me. Do the world a favor and get yourself some AirPods. I'm just kidding, I need those. <laughs> All right, these aren't that tangled, but if they were more tangled, you hold it from this little diaphragm section and just wiggle them. So we go and just be standing here in an airport, or even better, you're sitting on the plane. You're in the middle seat. Time to untangle your headphones. Oh, my arm. Whoa. That made it more <laughs> tangled! It wasn't even this Bro, I could have taken like two seconds to just untangle this the normal way. This did not work. Maybe I have to grab it by the mouthpiece. Oh, you know what? Holding it by the mouthpiece made it easier to untangle, so. Maybe that was it. Does not work against knots. Now you're free to listen to your music. Mm. Delicious. These headphones are a paid actor. Okay. So apparently every single pizza box can do this. So you rip it in half, take the sides off, and then you have a half 
pizza box. So you can easily put it in your fridge, takes up less space. Man, it's like whenever I go to a pizza place, I got one slice left over. And they're gonna give me a whole entire pizza box. Thank you, I'm sure the rest of my 11 slices, which are now decomposing in my intestines, would have appreciated all this space. Or you and the homie trying to split a pie, you just rip it in half and then, mm. Delicious, finally, some good hecking pizza. Okay, half a pizza half. This is supposed to fold in half, what's going on? Hello, why you don't fold in half? It like folds diagonally, do you see that? And there's nothing on the side that like comes off. Oh, I think you could like rip it off. Okay, this pizza box is definitely not made for this. Half a pizza box. Will it work with this side? No, because I don't want to bend this way. Okay, that works better. What's the point of this half? To have half a pizza box. Oh, so like if there's half pizza left, you save space by putting it for. Oh. Mm -hmm. Normal person would just wrap the rest of leftover slices in tin foil. You would think so. I think this pizza box just ain't it. Should have gone. Rub that real good and then make a wish. I'm deleting my channel if this works. Ooh! No, baby. Turn off the lights. We're going pee pee hunting. We just put the number in and it's supposed to give me free gas. One, two, two. <gasps> it lit up. It's playing an ad. Ooh. Hello, friends. It's me. Today, we're going to be trying out some more TikTok hacks to see if they actually work. Here's a way to get into your house if you accidentally lock yourself out. So all you need is a card and a pair of scissors. I'ma stop you right there, because I used to do this all the time. My brothers, my sister, when they used to sit in their room, unlock their door, and I wanted to come in and play. I would take my mom's Costco card, shimmy it through the door, wham, bam, unlock door, ma'am. It's like the all access card key. But he's taking it to the next level. This is the advanced way to do it. So you'll take the scissors and cut the card like this. Interesting. You see, I struggled. This seems much more efficient. Remember when I used to unlock your door with a card? I used to do that to my brothers too. All right, so we cut it into the shape and we're gonna try to unlock your door. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. It's locked. Let me just skirt right in here. Skirt. Ah! Okay, I don't know if it's gonna work in my house because these are some big sturdy doors and they're thicker and bigger than the regular doors. This ain't having it. Skirt harder. Skirt! Maybe on your doors, not on my door. No, because I, I did this before and it used to work, but these are like industrial doors. You know what, I'm gonna try this this way, the longer way, because I think the lock is longer on this. Ooh! How to land a bottle flip every single time. Fill your bottle with water, add some salt, and you'll land it every time. What? This doesn't work. I'm gonna be looking like the whole circus. This doesn't work. I want to let you know that I will feel very betrayed. You would have made a fool out of me. Oh, that's a lot of salt. Delicious. I hope it's enough. Here we go. Woo! Oh, that's my second try, bro. This works and I'm freaking out. All right, this is life hacks for real. Okay. Did the salt wear off? This is not optimal bottle flipping. Okay, now my thing is dented, so. We have to make another bottle. How much do you want to bet I can flip this bottle on my first try? You can't. That seems pretty unlikely, huh? Who's gonna pay for dinner tomorrow? Wait, no, 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 I'll look at the count. I didn't, my wrist is broken. Oh, it's salt water. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get, get just, out, get. This is what you did. <laughs> How to make a DIY black light. I remember this video and we came to the conclusion that it was fake. Is it a Chevron gas station? 
station. Nobody's bathroom is this filthy. If you can afford an iPhone, you can afford some bleach. We're gonna have to pop the phone case for this one. Like this video if I should upgrade my phone. Literally can't be bothered. So we're just gonna put it over the flash. Black light is indeed black. And we just color the flash. Now we go pee pee hunting. Do you know where we're going? No. Come on, follow me. I'm scared. No, I don't go to my room. It's dark in there. No, baby. Turn Wait. off the lights. We're going pee pee hunting. No. <laughs> <laughs> I made me a black light. No, is it, is baby. it purple? Now look, it's pretty clean in here. Where is the pee pee? No, baby, there's no pee pee. Where is it? <laughs> there's not. This black light doesn't work. I'm a clean boy, baby. I'm a strange man. I want a refund. This black light don't work. Like, this is a fake black light. I'm telling you. Mmm. I can't believe I'm actually gonna try this. I've seen so many thumbnails that are like toothpaste on a crap phone screen equals fixed phone screen. Because toothpaste not only does it brush your teeth, cure acne, make your hair grow, and overall improve your life. Like why go to the store, pay over $100 to fix the screen of your phone? Well you could just slap some 99 cent toothpaste on that bad boy. What does it do? As you can see, Evan's phone is very, very broken. He just shattered it. We haven't upgraded our phones yet, but I'm gonna take some toothpaste. I'm gonna try it on a little part first, see if it works. And I see this is done all the time on 5 Minute Crafts. We just rub that real good and then make a wish. You gotta wish for it to fix itself. Now we wait. A few moments later. Okay, let's see if it's actually worked. <gasps> Wait, it's, it's gone. No way. Hold on, hold on. Y'all saw the cracks over there, right? Okay, they're still there. It filled a little bit, but it's not gonna work. At least your phone smells good now. Minty fresh. Mm. Okay, this one's actually illegal. How do I put this? How to unlock any car. Uh... Lock your keys in the car. Here's a way to get it unlocked. Disclaimer, lock your keys in the car, even though it's not actually your car. And all you need is a tennis ball. So put a hole in the tennis ball and then press it up against the lock and push it. To begin with, what are you talking about? I am falling for this one. You know, these hacks are fake until proven to work. All right, so you got into the car or not. Let's just assume you did. How do you turn it on? Lucky for you, I got another hack for that. So you're supposed to press the hazard light, push the radio button twice, the two window buttons, hold them up for three seconds, and it's supposed to magically turn the car on. You know, because every car manufacturer got together at the round table. They were like, you know what? Let's come up with this super special secret hack that's definitely not for robbing people. But if you forgot your keys, lost them, or whatever nonsense, you know, if we lived in an honest world, this might work. Stay psych right now. All right, so we're in the car. It's off. We're gonna try to turn it on using this hack. So we're gonna press hazard menu twice or on off, and then we're gonna press the windows up for three seconds and see if this turns on. <gasps> it just turned on. We done GTA'd ourselves a brand new G Wagon. Oh, this is turning on too. All right, but can you actually turn it on? <gasps> Do you know why? Because I have the key. Get out of here. Y'all getting excited like I can finally steal my neighbor's car. No. This is supposed to be how to get free gas from the gas station. All you have to do is press 08087798 and then enter. I told you. <laughs> Look at that. I told you guys. Always works. So try it. I'm deleting my channel if this works. All right, we're about to get some free gas. So we just put the number in and it's supposed to give me free gas. Yo, I can't believe I'm touching this. One, two, two, four, seven. Okay, okay. <gasps> oh <my. laughs> Wait, I didn't see this on the hacks. Preset amount. Okay, let me get $50. <laughs> Let me get that supreme. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. No way. No way it's actually working. Come on, man. This is on TikTok. Are you really gonna give me free gas? I'll take it. Said one moment. Wait. What's my free gas? It's a scam. You have to insert your card and wow. it's only gonna take $50 worth of gas. Wow. Biggest scam. You actually have to insert your card. <laughs> That's how they get you. just got up like Ashley did you just sip your coke from the Big Mac carton that's legal mm, delicious finally some good McBox how to stock your fridge and make it fancy 
Honey, I've been done doing this. Super easy hack. Behold. We're gonna open one side. Make sure they're not upside down because I've done this. Why is it so hard to open this packaging? Eat. Mm. We have a chance to redeem ourselves. Mm. All right, that worked. Nice. Mm. Mm. Welcome to the sparkling water show. This one is an Alexa hack. Very easy, unless you don't have an Alexa. Alexa, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, go. Super Alexa mode activated. Super Alexa mode? But does it work on Siri though? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. I'm getting dizzy. All right, so we got all her pixels in a bunch. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Nerd. Did a dang pre-wired Apple program call me a nerd? Why don't I have a super Siri mode? If you had a super Siri, it would be super serious. And that's illegal. Today we're gonna be trying out some more TikTok hacks. Whoa! I'm gonna see if they work. Scra! So you guys don't have to try them. All right here we have an iPhone. I mean, if you still use your phone to unlock your iPhone, me. I haven't upgraded my phone because I can't stand Face ID. So they just put a piece of tape on it and it was able to unlock via thumbprint? No way. This whole time I was thinking that my thumbprint was very secure and y'all hacking through phones just like that. I took Evan's phone, and as you can see, my thumb does not work. I'll never know the secrets he's hiding from me. All right, I took a piece of tape. We're gonna put it over the touchpad. There's no way this can work. What? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? No way. Who is he texting? Leah? Who is this? If you ever find yourself stuck on a rope in this exact situation, he just- Wait, 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 what? I'm calling voodoo magic on this one. No way. You see that? That's illegal. Okay, so you pull it out from under there. Oh, and then- Wait, how does- how does it separate? Oh, okay, 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 I see it now, I see it now. Yes, that's pretty good. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, so both my wrists are tied up in this. I don't know why there's so much extra space over here, you know, just in case I gotta put my hair behind my ears or scratch my butt crack. I don't know, if anybody gets you in this situation. Oh, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> so I think they went like, wait, do you know how to do it? No, Ash, do you know how to do it? Ash, what is mommy doing? I thought this was supposed to work too. Ooh. Oh, you just opened the fridge. The prisoner's eating good tonight. <laughs> mm, my fridge smells like jello. Okay, so we're gonna take our hand out like this. Take the rope and put it through my wrist. Whoa! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, I got this now. So you're gonna take your hand out like this. Take the green, wrap it around the wrist. Did you see that? Like, that, I don't, that's I don't understand how it crazy. works. That's actually crazy. Mm -mm. Oh no, <clears throat> my slave has broken loose. I'm a free woman. Yeehaw. Did somebody say chocolate hack? So you're gonna cut it in half diagonally and then cut one column and one more. Put it back together like it never happened. <gasps> and then when you put it together, you can steal a piece while making it look like the full bar is still there. Hmm. Okay, but do the calories count though? It's like it never existed. Mm, this is gonna be so hard to do this hack without eating this. We got a nice brand new chocolate bar. Oh, can I lick it? Oh no, it only has two squares. This might not work. Bro, where am I supposed to get a candy bar that has like the exact amount of squares? Can I eat a piece? No, we're doing the hack. Yeah, but you ate the watermelon. <laughs> Wait. What are you doing? What? I forgot how to do this. Oh, I did it wrong. Of course I did. I'm supposed to cut this way. Yes, yes, we kind of did it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, it looks the same size despite. Kind being... of, yeah. I just did it really badly because it's like, it's two squares, but it works. Free chocolate. Did you like a bite? Belgian chocolate from the dollar store. This next hack 
Somebody set off their school fire alarm. So don't try this at home. Gonna take a battery. You need a gum wrapper, but the metal kind. And of course, the only one that I got, they're all paper. Useless. Oh, but there's metal on the back side of this, so this might work. We're gonna cut out the shape. I mean, as long as it reaches both ends, it doesn't really matter which shape. If this works, I'm gonna scream, okay? So, we're gonna take this side. I'm kinda scared. Ooh, wait, it's supposed to smoke. It's warm. I don't think this metal is good enough. All it did was get warm. Where's the fire? Let me try aluminum. Why? It's warm. It's like it's trying. It really wants to do this. Maybe these batteries suck. I'm gonna use my good Costco batteries for my secret battery stash. It's like getting the battery really warm. Maybe it only works with like gum wrappers. It got hot. It's like getting hot, but it's not starting a fire. It's really hot. It's creating heat, but not fire, which is what I want. I'm really mad that this didn't work. I think we need to ask an expert's opinion on this. Are you the expert? No. Ash, come here. Why didn't it work? I think she just sucks at this, huh? Yeah. Here is the pro way to shoot a rubber band. So you take it on your pinky, you wrap that around. Oh, okay, I, I need to do this while I'm watching. And then you go, you, oh, heck, how do you release it? Wait. Make sure your thumb stays outward and rigid as you do this. Bring the band up to the pointer finger and wrap the band around like so. You're now ready to fire. Slowly uncurl the pinky finger. Oh, okay, I, I uncurl the pinky, got it. I wonder if this is more powerful than your average shling. Pro rubber band gun over here. So you're gonna take it, finger, and then wrap it around your thumb. Oh, my nails, can oh! I thought it broke, okay. These rubber bands are kinda flimsy. Okay, okay, so I got it, I got this. Do you see this? Release your pinky. Oh, <gasps> that went far! That was good, good velocity. We're gonna try this again. This is like, takes your rubber band game to the next level. And <laughs> my hand cramped really bad. So like the position that it's in is kind of weird. Ready for this? See how far I can get it. Pew. It went there again. Pew. Whoa! One went right here. That went, that went by Lumpy. And yeah, the That back. went really far. You ready for this Lumpy? Trying to go at me? You wanna go? We're gonna cut this bad boy in half. Wait for it. Nice. How about those juicy melons? Somebody say juicy melons. I got your juicy melons right here, sir. Oh, this is the best bite. Mmm. I was gonna scoop it out, but I'm really hungry. Mmm. You're supposed to be doing the hack, not eating it. This is part of the hack. You have to eat it for it to work. If you waste, if you waste the watermelon flesh, it's bad luck, and then it won't work. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save the rest of this for later. Take out the real juicy melon so we can put fake juicy melon in it. Have you ever gutted a melon? Okay, we really cleaned her out. And now I'm going to take some jello, gelatin mix that I got from the dollar store, and then pour it in. Ooh, she jelly, and then water. Ooh, delicious. Why have red Malone when you can have blue Malone? Oh, it's, no. Oh. Hold on, I have to mix it. Mm. I have to mix the Jello mix. He's day. Oh, it's not staying. Oh God. Now we pop this bad boy in the oven. I mean yeah. fridge. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you mean the fridge, huh? Okay, okay, please don't spill. Several days later. So I left this dang watermelon for over a week and it's still <gasps> liquid. Why? Oh God, that's... Ooh, it never like made it into... I was supposed to put hot water. Boiling water. Man, this sucks. Whoa. <gasps> okay, Jello Malone. Delicious. Finally, some good hecking jello melon. Skrrr. Jello Malone was a fail Malone. Now it is a no Malone. Sushi hack. Oh, put in raw fish, avocado, whatever you want to make into sushi. Oh, top it off with some rice. All in an ice cube tray. Yo, this seems really easy. Yo, you can make some fancy snacks in a jiffy. So we got an ice tray, but we ain't making ice cubes. We making sushi. That's pretty illegal. We got seaweed. Mmm. Mmm. Straight from Japan. That's really good. This straight up seaweed, but it's delicious. And then rice. We don't have any salmon. Salmon is actually in the oven. It's gonna be my dinner. We can't afford to waste it on hacks. 
So in some of these, I'm gonna put in seaweed, and then other ones, I'm gonna put in black sesame seeds. My favorite. Then we're making some avocado sushi. Mm, vegan and delicious. Let's just pop those bad boys in the holes. Mm, pretty cool snack idea. Okay. I have high hopes for this hack. We're gonna take some rice. I just got some microwavable rice. Ain't nobody got time to make rice. And then we're gonna just shove it in. Make sure to fill up the cups. Would you try this? No. Why? Because I've seen how it's being made. Why? Because it's in an ice cube tray? Does that make you lose your appetite? Ew, disgusting. I don't want to eat food from an ice cube tray. That's only for ice cubes. And now we clean our mess. One hour later. Okay, high hopes for this hack. Y'all ready for this? I put it in the fridge for a little bit. Gotta do my magic. Ooga booga, ice cube ooga. Do we come out? Look! Oh my god, they came out so cute. And I just like threw this together really fast. Okay, this is actually very cute and it works. Falls apart when you eat it, but I mean, we made sushi in an ice cube container. Mmm, that's really good. It just kind of falls apart when you eat it, but I mean, it's not bad. If you want to do this seriously, I would probably wet the rice a little bit. Mine was kind of dry, and then it'll stick together better. I'm actually going to do this for a snack bowl. Pretty good for vegan sushi. So if you have a tube of something, whether it's lotion, chapstick, toothpaste, I'm going to show you how to cut this down and make it almost new again, okay? You push it down and then reseal it. Okay, so she's just cutting it off. Take some parchment paper and your flat iron. I mean, what can't a flat iron do? And then she just resealed it in a smaller tube. Okay, is it worth the effort? Probably not, but I want to try it because this could come in handy. So you can either do this the peasant way, just like roll it up like this. But that's not the best way to do it. So we're gonna give it a whole new butt. So I'm gonna push all the product down as much as I can and then cut the tail off. Oh, I think I might have cut too much. Now I can't fold it. Okay, we're gonna have to waste some precious toothpaste. Mmm, delicious. The forbidden paste. We're gonna fold over some parchment paper and then use my flat iron. Got all handy dandy. This flat iron has lasted me like seven years and I still do my hair with it and I do all my hacks with it. I heard something sizzling. Who knew toothpaste sizzles? Mmm, delicious. Okay, so I think I sealed it. Oh god, this is hot. All right, maybe it doesn't work with toothpaste. It just feels, ow. This my toothpaste ruined. Do you see this? You call this a hack? I squeeze a little too hard and it's gonna... Oh wait, no, actually, I think it's sealed pretty good. I'm squeezing. Oh, did it work? Bro, I think this actually worked. I'm squeezing really hard and it's not like... Ugh! Nice. Do you have acrylic nails and can't seem to open a can of bubbly? You stupid man. You told me I gotta get the cover of a USB drive just to open my can. Yeah, let me just whip that out of my bag. Anytime I want a can of Coke. I have long nails. I'm gonna show you better ways to do this. Can opening hacks, nail edition. So I mean, if you open it with one finger, there's more of a chance that that nail will break off. So what I do is I like to do it with multiple fingers because it reduces the impact and then just, or this is the safe way to do it. Use the side of your thumb and just like slip it under and just skirt. Skirt delicious. <laughs> 